Okay, ladies and gents, welcome back. Guess Gex doing a bit of Dark Souls. Um, we're going to press on into Sen's Fortress, and I'm just going to get us up to the first bonfire, I hope, without getting murdered. So, um, and then kind of leave it there, and then we can finish it off. Because it, it is actually a surprisingly short level, this. There are some kind of ways you can go off and pick up some extra cack, but it's not really needed. So, um, interesting, yeah, a little floor trap here, so careful with that. Once you've aggroed these, you can kind of use this to to your advantage, actually, when they come down the stairs. Here we go. Oh, and the last one missed. Yeah, these lot, I mean, they're, they're very easy to, um, I don't uh, I want to get the other one, really. There we go. So he's down. These are very easy to backstab, these, if you can actually get behind them. There we go. So we'll pull him into the area, because we've triggered the trap already, so that's not going to go off again, which is good. So let him follow you in. Yeah. Because they are, they, oh, when they haven't got their back to a column, they're quite easy to hit. There we go. What's that orange thing on the floor? Interesting outfit. Way! Forgetting that he's not quite dead. Okay, I won. Oh, see, I said about how easy it is to backstab these, and now I can't bloody land one. There we go. And he's done. There we go. So we've got a fair few souls. We should actually be not too long before we can level up again, which is always good. Now, what I tend to do here. Um. Sorry, what I tend to do here is. Get the old bow out. And aggro this dude, of course. So once he's aggroed, he should get knocked down by those um, blades. Just to make sure he actually does. There we go. Okay, now while he's climbing back up, because we will see him again, we're gonna we're gonna keep hitting this guy because we can push him off. Oh, that was good. We can actually push him off the edge. Shouldn't be too many more. Come on. And if once he falls, oh rubbish. rubbish and the other guy yeah you'll see the other guy who we knocked off the ledge a minute ago will appear up here in a minute here he comes I think I just I just saw him clip through the wall I believe did I here he comes you can also get a nice cheap hit on him when he first lands oh, no idea what he's doing he normally just jumps straight down he's been a he's been a bell no I don't know what he's doing okay I'm going to give him a bit of room for him to climb down if he so wishes Interesting. The only problem with that is I know what's going to happen. He will. Oh, I don't know what's going on there. Anyway, I've got to be a little bit careful because obviously I don't want. To... Oh, rubbish! There he goes. He's going to end up right behind me, isn't he? When he finally sorts himself out. Oh god, I'm just going to leave him beside it anyway. Obviously, watch out for these pendulum things. This isn't too difficult to dodge at all. Sprint through. And there's one at the end. And that guy that we just knocked off the ledge back up there. Oh, he did make it. This guy did finally make it. He's probably going to get knocked down again. Yeah. Well, uh, he's not dead, though. He will probably continue to follow us, actually. And the, the one with the sorcerer guy that we shot off the top would normally be on the other side of this bit, which is, which is quite a pain. But um, he can be a bit of a pain. Oh, watch out for these, obviously. There we go, another pressure plate. In there was a couple of large Titanite shards. Now there is... Let's see if we can get this to work. I couldn't get this to work last time, but we'll see if we can get it to do it this time. Go away. Now if we can land this right, you have to get it just right. There we go. So normally you would need to wait for the boulder to do that, but not in this case. We just have to be careful we don't go bundling off the edge now. There we go. He's still not, not quite dead, but nearly. Oh, it's just getting behind them, and so much of Sen's Fortress is kind of on narrow ledges. It's just horrible. Oh god, he's gonna, yeah. There we go, there we go. 
Now we need to let this dude out. We don't need to, but we will let this dude out just because. Because we can. Mm. I think it's the master key. Yep. And if you talk to him again, he will be another one that we'll go oh. back to. He will go back to, um, what's it called? Filing Shrine. There we go. These are always, oh, it always seems so precarious opening these because it looks like you're going to. Soul of a hero. There we go. It looks like you're going to fall down there, but it looks like you're going to fall down the gap between the cage and the ledge, but thankfully you don't. Because that would be incredibly annoying. Normally you have to open this wall by actually um, sending the boulder down there, but um, we did it the other way. Okay. Through here, there should be a dude, but he's gone. Okay, this is very unnerving. I don't know why. Why is the boulder not? Hang on, I don't, I don't trust this. Normally, there's a boulder coming, rolling down here. And normally, that that's the path it takes. Don't quite understand why it's not doing that. Try and just sprint up to here. You wait, the boulder will now come smashing down on me. You wait. No, okay. Weird. Up there in that room where that sorcerer is standing in front of is a ring of steel protection. Here he comes. Just in time to squash him. Nice. Oh, he's dead. He's already actually that fully killed him. But anyway, yeah, there's a chest up there and you can go in there and get that out if you so wish. Oh, I meant to try and trigger the uh, the pressure plate there. Which, even though he's like ten times bigger than me, apparently he can't actually trigger somehow. Oh, I thought I'd done the... Oh. Rubbish. Oh, there we go. That was close. That was very close. There we go. He's not... He's obviously not dead. Oh. That was lucky. I can't remember if these guys actually poison you when they bite you. I mean, it would kind of make sense, but... Yeah, obviously that helps if you're if you're fighting him normally. Now, what you need to do here is... Um, the boulder will kind of follow... You have to follow the path of the boulder, essentially. Um, it's quicker to go up, and there is a kind of a little cheat to do with a kind of... jabbing B to kind of... Uh, jump backwards, but we're not going to do that. Oh god, I've actually got a bit behind here, but anyway. We should be alright. Yeah, that wall's been smashed, and that's, there's nothing normally up there. Now, <laughs> everyone, I'm t I think everyone knows about this already, but here is a Mimic, the first Mimic, and it is definitely, definitely worth killing this guy. Don't open that chest, because it is a trap, but definitely worth... Um, killing this guy, yeah, because he gives you the lightning spear, which is quite a good weapon. The only attack you need to be really careful of here is his grab attack. So he just does stupid amounts of damage. He does like a kick attack as well, but it's rubbish. It's just these bloody columns and things in the way make it really kind of... This whole fighting in kind of close quarters make it a little bit... Oh! Oh god, I thought I could have sworn he'd grab me then. Oh. Ah. This bloody stupid butt pokes thing again. There he goes. And as I say, he drops a lightning spear, which is quite a good weapon, because it's your first... if you, Unless you're actually using the smith properly, it's your first kind of proper imbued weapon. And anyway, essentially jump on this, and then as soon as it starts to stop, jump uh, jump off it. Otherwise, you will get crushed by spikes. I'll show you what I mean. Anyway. So we jump on, and then it will pause briefly, and you got to kind of get off there before it carries on. Yep. Because it will carry on up, and you die. I've never actually done it, I've just heard about that. But, um, I haven't quite had the balls to do it myself. 
Now this one you can't open yet, because it doesn't open from this side. So what we have to do is basically get ready and sprint. There we go. And now you can sort of change the angle of the boulder, which is which is quite interesting, if you should so wish to. But we've already done the whole smashing the wall thing, so we don't really need to. Um. Oh yeah. Uh, right, we're actually not too far from the first bonfire, which is good. We've just got to go across this stupidly narrow walkway, which is horrible, without getting smacked off. I really, I don't like this bit at all. There we go. So it's not too bad. The, the next one's even more narrow. Really could do with getting behind this guy again, as always. Oh, for get back! There is a kind of pit of death behind me, so I've got to be a little bit careful here. Oh. Can't see anything, there we go. Staggered him a little bit, but oh. oh that hurts. That really hurt. Oh god, I do not want to die here. There we go. Needed that massively, right, so we can have a quick neck of a and he is dead. Okay. If we just head round here, I believe we've got to be careful, but I think I had a feeling there was a ring of some kind. Oh, it doesn't mean fighting another one of these though. We'll do a quick pray. Ugh, I can't remember even which ring this is, I don't think it's anything amazing. We got slightly more room this time. Oh and he's decided to friggin' join in. Oh god, this could be a disaster. Okay, yeah, this, this could be a serious problem because, as I say, the other guy is, uh, actually, we might be able to kind of lure them off. This is where this becomes a problem, though, because of this dude. Oh, and he's decided to come up. They both have. Drink a potion quickly. Potion. <laughs> okay, one down, and the sorcerer guy is the easy one, so this isn't too bad. He doesn't have as much health points. I think he causes bleeding damage, though, so you have to be a little bit careful. You got enough swords, though, mate. There we go. My god, how messy was that? Right. Oh my god. Terrible gameplay. Let's go and see what this item was. After all that, I'm expecting something pretty awesome, and I'm pretty sure it's not. Oh, a couple of tiny eye shards. I thought it was a ring, but obviously not. Damn it. Never mind. Never mind. We do need those to tie our armor up, so. This game becomes so much easier when you get the Lord Vessel. Actually able to warp to. Way! Too close. Oh, great. It does take a bit of time, but it's much better to do this first before trying to cross that thing. Ow! Ugh. 
See, if only my friggin' arrows did a bit more damage. Ugh. Oh. Oh, he's so nearly dead, but I keep pushing him back every time I hit him with an arrow. Oh. oh. One more. Oh. There we go. Now this is, I say, the last one that you have to be a little bit wary of. Once you get through here, you're kind of home and dry. I can never remember if it's best to stop or not. Oh no, 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 no. Ah, bugger. Right, I shall see you back at that point. Okay, hello ladies and gents, we're back. A couple of attempts later and we're finally here. We've crossed this narrow bridge and we've kind of crept around and fragged the dude who was trying to electrify us. So all we have to do now is essentially go through here, but then don't hang about because there is a guy throwing massive explosive bombs at you. So what you need to do really, just so we can get to the first bonfire, is we need to go pelting through here. Straight up here. As I say, don't hang about there. Don't bother trying to grab that and just drop off carefully. And here's your first bonfire. And it doesn't matter if you get fragged because you'll you'll respawn back here. So that is the um as I say, that is essentially the an extra 500 souls or something. Somebody must, somebody must have got hurt. So anyway, that's it. And then basically, when you fall back out here, you're just back at the the bit you were just at a moment ago. So, um, as I say, it doesn't matter if you get fragged. But uh, there's a couple of knights and stuff around here. A couple of items to pick up. Nothing particularly crucial. You can frag those giants that are firing stuff at you. Oh, there we go. These ones are obviously considerably tougher than the ones back in the undead castle. Ow. Yeah, considerably tougher. Oh, is he going to try a heal? He might. Is he? Doesn't help that my weapon's a massive pile of pap, but... Ow. Come on. Almost dead. One more. Ow! Exchange blows. There we go. Anyway, head downstairs. Another one down here, and then I believe there's a chest behind him. There's some kind of item. I can't remember what it is. I always think it's going to be a ring, but it's not always a ring. Oh, hello. Good parry, sir. Good parry. These always remind me of the, the Knights in Zelda. Way that was a bit silly. I was going to say, he must be able to get a backstab on these. There we go. Was he dead? Nearly. Oh, rude. There we go. Always hit the chest just to make sure it's not a mimic. Ah, oh, flamestone plate, that's it. Yeah, so it gives you fire protection, which, I don't know, may possibly come in handy. But uh, if you're looking to frag that drake at the beginning. Can't remember what that item over there is. I know you have to jump off a ledge up above to get it. That one just there. Uh, yeah, I can't remember what it is. In the next part, anyway, we're going to fight, because uh, we're pretty close to fight, fighting the Iron Golem, who's like the boss of this area, and then we'll be in Anor Londo. We're going to leave it there. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Took a bit of time to get here. Um, 